Good evening, Somerville. My name is Jesse Klingen, and I'm running for Alderman of Ward 4 because the residents of Ward 4 deserve an accessible, responsive, caring, and attentive Alderman. An independent representative who's looking out for the needs of everyone and not just a select few. I was born and raised here in Somerville, where I attended the Somerville Public Schools. I grew up in Winter Hill, raised by my mother, who struggled to raise two children on her own, with the help, but with the help of community and social safety net here in Somerville, she was able to get us through some really tough times. Early on, my mother taught me to stand up and fight for what I believe is right, and to always take care of others in need. My mother was a proud member of the St. Regis Mohawk tribe, and she often opened up our doors of our home to those in need of a place to stay or a bite to eat. And when asked why she, why she was so generous, she often exclaimed, it's the native way. We may not have had much, but what little we had, we always shared. I currently live in Ten Hills with my wife, Michelle, my high school sweetheart, my daughter, Allie, who's 10, and a student in the Somerville Public School System. For years, I have been leading the charge on issues important to me, always doing my best to make an impact in Somerville, be it workers' rights, fair wages, public education, public transit, open space, local hire, and affordability. I built a reputation as someone who leads with his head, but listens with his heart. I've demonstrated this throughout my many years of community work. For example, having witnessed members of my own family and countless childhood friends fall victim to addiction, I felt compelled to fight back. I co-founded a group named Somerville Overcoming Addiction and applied my leadership and organizing skills to battle the opiate crisis here locally. SOA is a community action group that advocates for more progressive policies around addiction raises public awareness, and helps connect people to much-needed resources. We successfully advocated for first responders to carry Narcan, facilitated numerous Narcan trainings of our own, which ultimately led to saving lives from the deadly over opiate overdoses. I also serve on the board of the Ryan Harrington Foundation, which supports addiction treatment, advocacy, as well as financial support to many of Somerville's youth organizations. As alderman, I will continue to make substance abuse treatment and prevention a top priority. I know how to get people out, involved and engaged in the community. I want to put my skills to work as the alderman of Ward 4 and reconnect the people with their local government. People today are sick and tired of the status quo. They are looking for elected representatives who speak to them and not at them, who will ask them what they need and not dictate what they will get. I am not a slick, smooth-talking politician. Who I am is who you see in front of you, a member of the working class who cares deeply about his community. I have been out knocking doors since March, listening to the issues that are important to the people of Ward 4. One thing is for certain, Somerville is definitely a great place to live, work, and raise a family. And that's also attracting a lot of new development. Development is good, a good thing for our city, and I welcome some much-needed change on Winter Hill, especially on that vacant star market lot. This has been the number one issue I hear about from residents as I walk the ward. As alderman, I will make sure that residents have many opportunities to meet with developers and give input on what is happening in their neighborhood. I am a strong proponent of community-led development. I believe open communication is key to transparency and will make sure that residents are informed of what's happening, when it's happening, and encourage them to participate. Another important topic that continues to come up when speaking with residents in the ward is affordability. Economic inequality is a real and destructive problem all over this country. One of the things that makes Somerville so great is its diversity. Unless we want to become a city made of really, really wealthy people and really, really poor, we need to address, the afford we need to address affordability for all. I'm talking about the homeowning senior on a fixed income, I'm talking about the young professionals who have to move regularly from apartment to apartment as the rent increases after their yearly lease is up. And I'm talking about families raising children and wanting to stay in our great city, but can't afford to buy a home here. We need to find creative solutions to address this regional crisis. I know some of them can and will lead the way. I'm also hearing many concerns regarding public safety uh, with the issue of traffic and cars speeding through residential streets. I will advocate for more calming measures such as temporary speed bumps and bringing the neighbor ways program into Ward 4. Additionally, I'm concerned with the lack of barriers on Route 93 along Mystic Avenue. They not only affect 
quality of life through noise reduction, but they also affect the health of those living in close proximity to such a heavily traveled roadway. The road dust is known for increased respiratory related problems. If elected, I will advocate for sound barriers along 93, along, along Mystic Avenue. These are just a few of the issues that we will address together as a community. Now, I'd like to speak directly to the people of Ward 4. I would like to make an important point about who I am and who I am not. I am not a political insider. I'm coming from the outside. I feel it's very important to have an independent Board of Aldermen, and I will be your independent voice, beholding only to the people of Ward 4 who, I'm, who I will be elected to represent. I am really excited about running for Alderman of Ward 4. It would be my honor to serve as your ele elected representative on the board. I am asking you for your support and for your vote on November 7th. Thank you. Good night.